welcome to today's video thank you so much for tuning into today's vlog if you're new here my name is Kanyim Somi welcome to my youtube channel I hope you do stay and you can do so by simply pressing the subscribe button down below <laughs> um, I am on my way out guys I am going to an event with Maybelline this evening and um, yeah I just quickly got ready I just called my uber and I am waiting for that to come so I thought I would open up this video and say hi to you guys before I step out also wanted to share what I'm wearing this evening I'm wearing this body glove suit thing um, that I got from T Stylish a number of years ago but I do know that she definitely does still stock them and then this move my crocs and then i am wearing my um gucci boots the theme was edgy so i don't know i tried <laughs> and i'm wearing this um jacket that i got from zara guys i am so obsessed with it it has like these big shoulder padded shoulders if you guys can see there i absolutely love it but now i think i'm going to change out of this body glove if I have time because it's going to be very difficult for me to get in and out of this if I need like the restroom and it's also a bit like transparent which is really not a good look so I might change into like leggings and a top if I have time let me quickly go down and actually do that and I will see you guys when I get to the event <laughs> I long for that feeling
much years old. Because Maybelline keeps choosing the baddest African girls, so why not? So why not? Period. I love that. <laughs> So in this part of today's video, we are working with Ula Hair. They have sent me a bob closure wig and these are just the items that came with my package and you have the refund policy notes there. This is the hair. It is a bob, like a sort of like a shoulder over the shoulder length bob. You'll see when I have it on and it is a two by six closure wig. As you can see, the closure is much more narrow than what well what i am used to <laughs> i obviously began by bleaching my knots i never make this mistake guys always 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 bleach your knots it just makes your install look so much cleaner and i don't do what i did put on some gloves cause the bleach will burn you i left this in for 30 minutes i then moved over to styling the hair guys now you know i am a strong believer in tiktok hacks and i saw this one where you add conditioner and serum before your heat protector um before you straighten your hair and that just gives you like a silky smooth um yeah <laughs> wig and honestly i tried this i liked how the hair felt the first time but after a while when i had the wig on i realized that it makes your hair feel very like sticky and like feel like it has a lot of products on it so i wouldn't really really i wouldn't really recommend this um but try it out for yourself and see what you think so anyway this is me just straightening out the hair i am styling it this way it's obviously a bob so i'm just gonna straighten it and then sweep it up um in the bottom so it curls a bit and this is what we are looking like once i was done like i said i love how that method gives it a very smooth silky texture but after a while you can actually feel the product weighing down your wig so i'm not gonna try this again i think i'll just stick to like putting serum right at the end and a very little serum right at the end anyway let's move over to um, installing this wig this is pretty simple because it is a closure wig there's really nothing to do but to pop it over your head and be about your day <laughs> this is gonna be one of those wigs that i wear to the gym or i wear to run my errands something that's super quick 
to put on so if you are a beginner with wigs or you, you just want something very simple very straightforward then i highly do recommend getting this wig and i will leave all the details in the description box for you guys as per usual so just have a look at that if you are interested but i am just positioning this wig like i said it is a two by six um closure wig i love the fact that the part is six inches long i mean look how long that part is i love that and also i think next time i will definitely try my best to get like that sleek flat look i did go in with my iso plus um just because you know i was being extra you really don't need to do this because it's a closure wig you don't need to glue it on or anything um if you don't however put on um, a spritz or anything i do recommend using concealer or just your makeup to um tint that lace that is obviously like quite visible that it's much lighter than your complexion this is what we are looking like thank you so much to ula here for working with me in today's video like i said i'll leave all the details down in the description box i hope you guys like this hair i do too i think later on i'll probably like color it good morning queens i am so late for my nail appointment i'm like literally 15 minutes late <laughs> Noma is gonna be so upset. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm on my way to go fix my nails because oh, wow, guys, tragedy, absolute tragedy. And today is kind of like a. Actually, this week is kind of like a maintenance week. Um, later on, I'm gonna go do my hair, and I've decided again that I might want to relax my hair or do a silk press afro is honestly natural hair is not for me like an afro i am not that girl i hate the maintenance um i love the way my hair looks and feels but in maintenance i can't like i can't i can't i can't and my hair is sorry that my eyes are so puffy you guys my hair is constantly in like cornrows or like wig lines which i don't know sort of makes no sense to me because then i can never actually enjoy my like real hair i always have to have wigs on or cover my head all the time and yeah it's just getting really annoying so i am gonna go to a salon called i think studio three five eight or something like that um i found them on instagram and i know the gummas i'm um, tandy and christina also go there i've seen it on um their vlogs so i'm gonna try that place out and then i want the guy to recommend whether i should do a silk press or whether i should relax my hair i'll obviously give him the background story of what happened the last time i relaxed my hair and then yeah and then yeah he'll just let me know what is the best way forward and then tomorrow i want to book my waxing appointment and what else do i have tomorrow 
tomorrow's wednesday and i'm gonna go for my lash refill tomorrow so quite a busy week in terms of maintenance i do have two really cool events i have two really cool events to attend on friday one is in the morning and the other one is in the evening so yeah that's why i'm grooming myself up just to look like a clean girl <laughs> um yeah but we are here now by noma let me rush inside forget to show you guys <laughs> what I've decided to go with but we did like a nude well, not nude it's like a brown but we put cover pink over it so it looks a little like milky absolutely love that I'm so hungry I just hopped into Woolies and I got myself a pie I'm gonna eat on the road because my next appointment, which is my hair appointment, is in Ravonia. Um, and I have like 20 minutes now to get there. So I'm just going to go straight there. And yeah, I'll just eat on the road. <sighs> One of those busy days. But yeah. <laughs> Even at your lowest, you got it. You know that you got it. Baby, take the moment you got it. It's yours, it's yours, it's yours. My love, just rest assured. I'm yours, I'm yours. Tell me what you're running for Cause you don't have to try so hard Baby, come let down your so 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 obsessed i um obviously i think i told you guys that i went to studio 353 i think i got it wrong the first time i mentioned it but it is studio 353 here on um youtube i actually saw it on christina gamma's um youtube <laughs> channel and um yeah so I decided to give it a try and the one thing that I noticed with relaxing my hair this time around is that he did not 
process it um, for too long so he did not leave it processed for too long he didn't even comb it while I had the relaxer on me he just let it sit for a couple of minutes and then we washed it out and then um, there was something that he used after washing it out the first time I forgot what it's called but he mentioned that that basically stops the relaxer from processing and I don't think we did that the first like the last time that um, I relaxed I could be wrong um but yeah this time around my hair definitely doesn't feel as thin as um it did previously it still has a bit of like texture to it and it has a lot more volume than some of you guys um would remember my relaxed ah my relaxed <laughs> feels a lot more like um voluptuous <laughs> then some of you would have remembered my um, relaxed hair to be last time so i am super happy my plan when i went there the first time was definitely not to go the shorts but i am happy with the decision and obviously i just think my hair will like grow out if i wanted to grow out and yeah so happy about this decision now though i want to customize um a wig that I got from Adequate Hair Studio. Um, let me show you guys. So I got this like blonde um, and how cute is the packaging. Absolutely love it. I got this blonde wig from um, just take it out. So I got this blonde wig from them and I think this is in the tone 6-1, is it 6-1-3 or 6-1-8? <laughs> but yeah, obviously you guys can see it's like icy blonde and I don't really like blonde wigs that start off blonde over here because I find that that looks a bit like too bobby dolly like you know fake doll type of hair so i want to um tint the roots of the hair and i am gonna go in with this l'oreal paris um excellence cream and this is in the color natural light golden brown and that's how it should look on blonde hair like you see there the before and after so i'm gonna do the roots and i'll obviously just show you guys what it is that i am doing so yeah let's do something fun together and customize this week so the first thing that i did guys is spray some holding spray you can use got to be or glamour beauty whatever holding spray you have spray your lace you know so you don't end up dyeing the lace or coloring the lace now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in it with a blow dryer just to make sure that that is dry before i start dyeing it you're as good as it gets but you're so scared of a real whole head <laughs> without actually recording anything with my camera simply because I just got a bit overwhelmed and I started getting nervous that like you see there I colored the lace and I just wanted it to come out perfectly fine like blended and stuff so do excuse me but I went line by line and just colored the roots um, I am going to try and do a TikTok video, so hopefully you can see that on TikTok if you want to see like what exactly I did because I recorded what I was doing at the beginning but with the lace I'm really trying to get each and every single strand without colouring the lace. I hope this turns out fine. I'm going to leave it for about 30 minutes just so it can get as dark as it is down here
went with um, Nespresso. I'll be working with them in the morning and I need to plan out my outfit because it's going to be very early in the morning and I know I probably won't have like enough time to do it in the morning. I really don't know what to wear. Um, we were told to dress very conservatively but then add a pop of personality. So yeah, <laughs> I am going to try and pull that off and yeah. These are sort of like the options that I've pulled out of my closet, just an idea of what I want to wear. I am trying everything on and seeing what works best. Tomorrow is quite a hectic day because I have that in the morning and then in the evening I am going to the screening of The Real Housewives of Johannesburg. And yeah, I have a dress for that. It's red carpet. So I have a dress for that. Gonna do my makeup. I am customizing this blonde wig that I got from Adequate Boutique. I showed you guys, I think, in the previous clips. Um, I'm gonna get that styled tomorrow, installed and styled um, at the salon at Adequate Hair Studio. Did I say Adequate Boutique? Adequate Hair Studio. I'm gonna get that installed tomorrow and then I'm gonna um, have a makeup artist do my face as well. So it's quite a jam packed day tomorrow and I want to be prepared for it. <laughs> so, yeah, let's try on these outfits and see what works best. This is option number one. I'm not in love with it. Um, I think my pop of personality is mostly going to be in my sneakers, you know. Um, but no, I have on leather pants, like wide legged leather leather pants. I have on this jacket, and I thought, I mean, this trench, this leather trench, and I thought it would be cute to have these little puffy. Um, sleeves out but no definitely not okay next and then next we have this outfit I'm not mad at it but I'm not crazy about it either um, I just have on this sort of like waist coat co <laughs> waist coat from Sara I have on a black bottled neck and these boots. I can't remember where I got these boots. I got them quite a few years ago, but I think Sara. And I'm wearing them with these like bow bottom pants. I don't know. I feel like I'm not mad at it, but there's no personality in this. It's quite like plan like I have a baboom and I can't put I was thinking of a belt but it's open over here that wouldn't make sense yeah no okay and then there is this which I kind of like it looks a bit wrong <laughs> on camera but I think I like it it's quite like it's a bit stylish and it definitely has a bit of personality to it i really wish you guys could give me your opinion in real time i don't know it might be this you know what else i think is throwing me off i think my hair i think my hair is throwing these outfits off i don't know i am um back from my morning with Nespresso and I'm sorry guys I did not vlog because I realized that I was giving myself way too much work than necessary like I said I was working um this morning so I needed to take um sorry something stuck in my eye I needed to take footage for or content for Instagram so Vlogging was completely, um, you know, the last thing I was thinking about. I do apologize for that. But now I need to remove all of this makeup and then rush to Adequate Hair Studio to install my wig and, um, what's this? 
and slow my wig and do my makeup i'm so tired you guys you know what i prayed that god give me more work and more things to do and keep me busy and now i feel like complaining that i have too much work and i'm too busy and i'm too like my head is all over the place but i'm grateful for it nonetheless um so yeah let me quickly go wash my face because obviously i'm gonna do redo my makeup um and then head on out and go to um adequate hair studio I'm gonna fix my hair. We are not doing a curly, <laughs> curly and straight vibe. <laughs> How gorgeous! The makeup is nice. Does it show though? It does. Wait, let's move a bit. It's a bit too bright there. I will leave Tato's details in the description box, guys. She did an amazing job. job. <laughs>